Bueno, para terminar la jornada. To close today's meeting, we'll give the floor to Ricardo, to Carlos Martinez, sorry, from LACNIC staff, and who will be presenting two topics related to our PKI. First of all, the coordination among RIRs for a globally consistent RPKI, and then the migration of LACNIC's core RPKI. So let us pay attention to the presentation. Carlos, you have the floor. Thank you, Maria, and I promise I will do a zip document and we'll leave at six. So I have two presentations, one following the other, and in fact that is useful because some slides are redundant and repeat, and I'm going to do this super fast. So the first topic I want to share with you is not strictly technical, but it's rather something that is a strategy, and this is an interesting topic of what is being done between the five RIRs to ensure what we have here in the heading, coordination among RIRs for a globally consistent RPKI. And let's see what this is about. First of all, I said that this is the topic of my presentation. This is the RPKI program of the NRO. So what is the NRO? The NRO is a coordination space between the five RIRs with the participation of the five RIRs, where is technical cooperation, governance cooperation between the five RIRs. This is a powerful tool when precisely preserving the, those aspects of the internet that have to be global. Now, why is RPKI important? I'm not going to repeat this. I've been saying this for 15 years, but very rapidly, this is important because we need to ensure internet routing and to ensure in the sense that the packets go where we want them to go. And therefore, what we do, we generate signatures that are then introduced in a communications channel with the routers, and the routers can do what we call validation of origin. So we have that on one side, and then we have the RPKI with validation of the records. So who is in charge of the repositories of the RPKIs? These are the five RIRs. Each of the five RIRs operate systems, core RPKI cores that produce repositories for the universe of members. So security depends on the coordinated action of the five organizations. Now, let us imagine that compared to other things that we can coordinate that are more local, RPKI has some features that make globality and consistent consistency globally is very important. As LACNIC, I, we operate an RPKI system that has a repository with certain features. This information is then consumed by all the routers in the internet in order to validate the announcements. The other RIRs do the same. Now, inevitably, in a standard, because of the complexity of RPKI, there are inconsistencies. And when I say inconsistencies, it's not that things are wrong or right in the RIRs, but they are different. So these differences might then lead to situations that, for those who consume RPKI information, might be confusing or generate additional operational complexities which might delay the adoption of the RPKI. So this is one of the big questions we have, and one of the initial objectives of the RKA program is to answer this question, these differences, are they an obstacle to the RPKI adoption? And then we have a call for action here. So how does this program begin the NRO about two or three years ago? I think it was two years ago. They did the NRO strategic planning process where some programs were begun where the NRO thought that global coordination was required. The first program is that of 
NRO coordination. For the purposes of the program, and I'm reading out the slides because consensus has been reached regarding this and I don't want to ma my invasion to fly. This is to provide a more consistent, uniform, and secure, resistant, and reliable RPKI services. The idea is to eliminate the barriers for RPKI adoption that we think that certain, certain operators have. How will this program work? There is a, a, a person that is Sofia Silva, who will be the coordinator of the RNRO. She used to be a member of LACNIC staff, so this is quite an achievement for our region. And then we'll have a task force composed by the technical staff of the five RIRs, who will be the ones who are to take the words to facts. What do we wish to achieve? First, the first the aim of this program in the initial months is to understand certain things, to understand the lack of consistencies, to map these out. We know they exist, we don't know how many they are, what they are and where they are. So this is the first aim. The second step or following steps would be to define what that consistency stage we wish to achieve. All repositories, all operators will have to modify parameters, change some things. So many of these consistencies are in time parameters, for example, which are quite subtle, but can lead to situations in which the prefix lists that we have might not be identical. For example, just to give you an example, as I said. And the further point has to do with the expectations or how do we define a robust and resilient RPKI system. This is not totally clear, though it might sound surprising, and I'm going to make an analogy when speaking with Oscar. He said that he views this as RPKI as the DNS system was 30 years ago or more. 30 years ago, there was just one implementation of uh, GNS server. Now, at this stage of RPKI, each one of us does the implementation, whichever way you think. So this leads to situations that have not specified the procedures. So trying to work along the path of a better understanding so that we can sort of quote unquote industrialize the RPKI product. Some of the comments regarding what we wish to achieve, some of the aspects of the consistencies have to do with the protocols or, for example, what are the user interfaces through which the ROAs are managed. These are all different in the different IRRs. Is this good? Is this bad? Is this an issue? Is it not an issue? So whoever you ask might have a different opinion, but we want to try and have more reliable information. There is more information that has been published in the web, in the NRO website and the RIR website. These are a couple of links that you can check out. And there is also a mailing address where you can write to us. You can send us ideas, concepts, opinions on the inconsistency that you might perceive. And please send, write to us and let us know. We are at this stage, we would uh, most interested in receiving your valuable feedback. So this is the end of this presentation. I will stop here while we set up the next presentation. And I'd like to ask you if you have any questions.